This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Right, so I've covered every single one of Katie Taylor's fights, and this one, fight number 13, shall be no different. Katie Taylor, of course, was defending her WBA and IBF lightweight women's titles against Rose Valante, who was undefeated 14-0 WBO lightweight champion. So unification over there in Philadelphia on the Sky Sports and DAZN card on the Tevin Farmer versus John O'Carroll undercard. Now, Katie Taylor, um, of course, these girls, they're doing two-minute rounds. It was a 10-round fight. And right from the opening bell from round number one, Rose Valante come out and was trying to chin Katie Taylor from the opening second. And for a good minute or so, I'm thinking, hang on a minute. This is not going to script. Um, and I think maybe it took Katie Taylor by surprise. But really... It shouldn't have really, um, in the sense of Katie Taylor is always in control. She is fully happy to take some shots. She's fully happy to trade. This is what Katie Taylor does. She is a phenomenal, phenomenal fighter. And even though Rose Valante come out like a bull in the china shop, Katie Taylor chinned her. In the very first round, down goes Rose Valante with, with a very short hook. So Rose Valante goes down and... Listen, the writing's on the wall from then on in. Um, she survives the rest of the round, but she looks awkward. Rose Valante looks awkward. She's still coming to fight. She's still trying to get Katie Taylor. But that knockdown gave Katie Taylor the world of confidence. In other words, she knew that she could hurt her. She knew that potentially she could stop her. And in my opinion, Katie Taylor dominated the rest of the fight. Um, Rose Valante seemed to almost want out of that ring. At times, she kept looking over at the corner. Katie Taylor was just too fast, too strong, too accurate with her punches, and especially with the body shots. And I feel that Katie Taylor maybe could have got her out there early if she'd have utilized her body shots a lot more. Because every time she hit Rose Valante with a body shot, the grimace of pain on Valante was evident. That is for sure. But Katie Taylor was doing a little bit of headhunting. I think that uh, she was putting on a bit of a show for the crowd um, at times. And she just wanted to fight. But Katie Taylor, when she was disciplined, was in full control. She would move in and out of range very, very quickly. Um, now, it wasn't as one-sided as maybe I'm making it out. Because Rose Valante did have her moments. She did um, hit Katie Taylor with some pretty good shots as well. But Katie Taylor always done enough to win the round without any kind of real question. But then of course round number nine comes around and so this is the round before the final round and I'm thinking, okay, so maybe it's gonna go on points, but if Katie Taylor can just concentrate on the body, as I said about a minute ago there, then uh, she, she could get Rose Valente out of there. But these guys got in close and Rose Valente was trying to trade with her again, which is the wrong thing to do with Katie Taylor. Um, and there was a bit of a clash ahead. Katie Taylor's head did hit uh, the bridge of the nose of Rose Valante. And the bridge of the nose opened up straight away. Uh, the referee broke up. It, um, obviously, he didn't see the headbutt. But she put her, um, her nose straight on the chest of the referee. So there was blood all down the shirt of the referee. So therefore, there's only one thing he's going to do. Stop the fight. And that's exactly what he'd done. Um, maybe a premature stoppage. Uh, to some degree, you may say, because um, he could have got the medical team to have a look at her um, to see if uh, she was okay to continue. Personally, I think it's the right decision to make because her nose, the bridge of her nose just became um, pretty evident from then on after. It, 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 it just kept bleeding, of course. Um, the corner team's trying to sort it out. But she wasn't going to win the fight anyway. She wasn't going to stop Katie Taylor. She wasn't going to beat her on points. And I think the referee just put a stop for it to more damage. And so anyway, Katie Taylor, congratulations in Philadelphia, becomes the new WBO Women's Lightweight Champion. To add that title to her IBF and WBA, one fight left to go, undisputed, potentially in only 14 fights. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Katie Taylor, big up to her, very proud of her, she's doing... Women's boxing, the world of good. She's a real humble girl. Uh, very, very likable inside the ring. An absolute animal. 
So big up Kay Taylor. Congratulations on adding another belt to the collection in only 13 fights. Anyway, you drop your thoughts below about Kay Taylor. Click the thumbs up to this video. And of course, subscribe. Most importantly of all, catch you all on the next video.